Hey everyone, in this video, you will learn how you can save your tweets into Google Sheets automatically. So guys, this automation is designed and created to help you in creating a backup of your tweet into a spreadsheet in Google Sheets application. And with the help of this automation, you do not have to manually copy the data of your tweets and manually paste it in Google Sheets. It will happen automatically whenever you share a tweet the text and the images or anything that you have put into the tweet will be saved into your spreadsheet automatically. So that way it will create an automatic backup and a track record of your tweets and you can analyze the data further in the future. Okay. And we are going to set up this automation without any coding super easily. So let's get started. To set up this automation, we are using Fably Connect and this is an automation tool and here is the landing page of Fably and I have pasted this same link in the description as well. So from here you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So you can just sign up right now and after that you have to sign in and you will reach the dashboard of Fably Connect application. Here it is. Okay. And from here guys, you have to click on this create workflow button. And here you can give a suitable name to your automation workflow. So I'm giving the name here as Twitter to Google Sheets. Okay. And after that, just click on create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here. And on this page, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So our automations are based on these two things only. So trigger is that event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be the automated response or the consequence of the trigger. So in our use case, guys, uh, sharing a tweet on Twitter will act as the trigger for this workflow and the action would be to save the tweets data into Google Sheets. Okay. So when you click here, it will ask to choose your tri trigger application. So in this case, the trigger application is Twitter. Okay, then you have to select the trigger event and the event would be a new tweet. Okay. So here you can see it is showing every 10 minutes. So this trigger is going to check in every 10 minutes if there is a new tweet that you have shared on Twitter. And if it finds a new tweet, this is going to trigger and start running. Okay, so click on connect here to connect with Twitter. From here, select add new connection, then click on connect with Twitter. And from here, you have to uh, just click on authorize app to authorize this application to connect with Twitter. Okay, so it might bring you to the login window if you're not logged in, but I have already logged in. So that's why it is just asking me to authorize and you can see the authorization is successful and we are connected. Now here you can see we have this save and send test request button. So by clicking on it, you can fetch uh, the data of most recent tweet that you have shared on Twitter. So let me click here and it will bring the data in the response section. Here you can see guys, we have received the response. And in this response, we have this profile image URL. Okay. The background image URL that you are using on Twitter, the username, the user's location. And here you can see the tags used in the uh, account and the creation date of the account handle is here and you can see all other things. And this is a uh, the text that we, that has been shared on Twitter. This is the text that had been sh shared new offer, get free sun cap with herbal products. This is a kind of tweet that has been shared. Let me show you that also. This was the tweet new offer, get free sun cap with herbal products. And this text got captured here along with the link. Okay. And here you can see we have this media URL as well in which you will find the image shared on as a tweet in this JPG form. You can see this is the media URL. Okay. So this, this is the image that has been shared. Okay. So we got all the data like this. Now it is time to save the data in a spreadsheet that I have in Google Sheets application. For that, we are going to connect with Google Sheets in action step. So here you just have to search for Google Sheets. Okay, then select the action event as add new row, then click on connect. From here, select add new connection, then click on sign in with Google. And from here, you have to select that Google account by which you have created that spreadsheet. 
select that then you have to provide some additional access to your account so just click on allow here okay and you can see the authorization is successful and we'll be connected in a second so you can see we are connected okay and here it is asking to select the spreadsheet in which you want to save the data so my spreadsheet is here this is the spreadsheet named as tweet sheet and these are the tweets uh, these are the data i want to save the tweet text any image if in, uh, contained in the tweet any url if any and the tweets date and the tweets link these are the things that i want to save here about my tweet and here i am going to first select the spreadsheet's name here it is tweet sheet and the sheet name you can see it is auto selected because we have only one sheet here named as sheet one and it got auto captured here now it is showing the tweet image if any url if, if any these are the headers of the columns that i have on my spreadsheet and it is appearing here now to send the data here in these fields or in these columns we need to map the data here in these fields okay and to map the data you just have to click here and the trigger step will appear in the drop down and when you click on it you will find all the data here only that we have received here in this step okay so you will receive the same data here so from here let me just uh, search for the text that i have received here you can see this is the full text just click on it to map it similarly find the image or the media here is the media link just map it url so if you have shared any url you can find it here this is the profile url and the media url so from here let me let me map this tweets url okay for the date you can search for the date so you'll find this created at label in which you will find the date of the tweet and here is the user created at label and here you will find the creation date of the account so you have to map this label created at label not this user created it okay so like this for the tweet link you can find the url here so in the tweet link label map this expanded url okay like this and now you can check your connection with your spreadsheet by clicking on save and send test request button and this data will be added here in a new row let me show you that i am clicking on save and send test request button so this is the response we have received now let's check in our spreadsheet if we got the data and here you can see guys we got the data added here like this in this row new offer this was the text and this is the image link you can open it and find the image this is the url you can see the url of the tweet okay and you you can see the tweets date and this is the another link of tweet okay so this is how you can create a backup of your tweets that you have shared on twitter and your spreadsheet automatically and you have to set up this automation only once after that you don't have to do anything manually in this workflow after that whenever you are going to share a tweet this workflow is going to check in every 10 minutes and save the records automatically and guys you can use this workflow as well as i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel